a place down the street. It's called a Picker's Market. Where a bunch of well, people sell antiques, handmade stuff. I mean, there's antiques. I should have shot a video, but inside the store, you got this cool, basically, an old bank vault. All the old tools in there. Some of them, way overpriced. But I found this little block plane that was just completely tore up, rusty, and gunk, and nasty. So I pulled it apart, completely sanded the whole bed down. It was all filled up with rough spots and like stucco or something on there. Pulled it apart, sanded it, cleaned it up nice. Only cost me four bucks. It's a Stanley number 241, I believe. So it was somewhere down in here. I can't see it now. But then on the on the blade itself, it says Defiance, made in USA. But uh, number 241, from what I remember seeing on there, it's just four bucks. I got a nice little block plane. It's real nice. <coughs> World's fastest shop tour. Ready? Told ya. how-tos. One good place I found that's got good books for cheap, you don't find them all the time, but when you do find the good ones, it's at the thrift stores. Let me show you. So, this is the last one I got, Creative Wood Turning by Dale L. Nish. It's only two bucks. It's got a lot of cool techniques. shows you how to do a lot of different things. Yeah. It's for fun, just for reference. Practical Woodworker by Stephen Corbett. This has got a ton of cool stuff in here. It shows you how to use planes and block planes and spoke shaves. How to apply edging and use chisels, routers, fixing and fittings, all kinds of stuff. The Woodworking Encyclopedia, the essential reference guide for the home woodworker. You know, all kinds of cool stuff. Only two bucks. I mean, originally this thing was about like 40, 50 bucks. This covers everything. Dovetails. Let's see, little small end tables. Edge treatments. Wood carving. Advanced finishing. Uh, stains. How to make a desk. Ooh, box joints, dovetails. Lap joints, all kinds of stuff. Let's see. I mean, I got tons of them up there. To see, From cabinets, bookshelves, designing, um, all kinds. That's a good place to look. If you want to have some good, decent books, you, know, you probably go to the libraries and whatnot and order books offline. But these are really cool. Like I said, you're not going to find them there all the time. But when you do find them, they're good. Only two bucks each at the one I go to. That's about the only reason I go there is see if I can find some old tools or anything like that, books. But, yeah. 
If you haven't heard of the Rum Jacks Irish Pub song, I suggest you listen to it. So, ah, shit. I've got quite a few questions about my workbench and how I have it set up. Because everybody's a little different. They set up all their stuff differently. But for me, I like having all my clamps right here, right where I can get to them. I have all these here, and then underneath, I got bar clamps, a couple parallel clamps. You know, right here, quick, easy pull out. I made a video on this, just a random thing. I keep my nail guns right there. Quick, easy to get to. Air hose right there. Got my drills right here. Power strip there. 500 watt subwoofer, you gotta have some noise. More clamps over here, more clamps there. <clears throat> my whole bench is 4x8. Bring it up real quick. I've probably seen it before, but. A full four by eight sheet of one inch thick plywood flooring. As you can see down over here, edge clamps, more little C clamps, small guys there, long F clamps. Down there is all the other clamps. But I had a couple questions about that from your friends on Facebook or. <clears throat> a couple things through YouTube and stuff like that. A workbench is going to be your primary source of just assembly table. Mine's also an outfeed table. Where you're going to spend a lot of your time. You're going to be doing your either your hand cutting here, your assembling here, your finishing here, your sanding here. Unless you have a larger shop, then you can have certain areas set up for that. For me, this is everything. The miter saw is there. Table saws there, clamps. I'm gonna step right back here. This is the center of my shop. So I get everything done right, right here. I edit my videos right here. Everything. It's all right here on the workbench. So if you have a chance, I would highly recommend making yourself a nice, big, sturdy workbench. Mine doesn't roll around; it's stationary. But for me, it's the most important part of the shop. It's going to be your centerpiece, your focal point, and where you do all your working at. So, um, I think I pretty much covered everything in my little list. What we didn't cover was on oh, my sander, the Harbor Freight disc belt sander, the small one. I bought the warranty. It was making some weird noise, dug it in. Another one, not a big deal. Other than that, thanks for watching.